Hey guys, so today as you can see, we are in a new location for the purposes of this video, honey. I need y'all to see that you don't have to have everything up front when moving into your first apartment. The reality of it is that I am almost three months here and I just got this bed. I ordered the wrong mattress size and I have to send that back and I don't have a TV yet. It's a lot of stuff that I still need to get, but I am here and I am blessed and I am so thankful. And I'm happy to be sharing the knowledge that I have now with you guys because I didn't have anybody to tell me these things that I wrote down because these things are important when considering an apartment. And you wanna make sure that the choice you make considering that you have to have a year lease or however long your lease is, if it's not month to month, you wanna make sure that you are living somewhere that you're comfortable. So your girl got you. If you aren't already subscribed, please do that. You know I be dropping these fire videos. I'm changing my channel up a little bit to adulting and financial literacy. So be on the lookout for more. And I know you for the vibe. You already know you about to click that button. So you might as well do it now. Starting off, let me just get right to it. I don't want you, honey bun. I don't want you to go on apartment.com. I don't want you to go on rent.com. I don't want you to go on no.com and start looking for apartments. I don't want you to do that. What I want you to do is to get an idea about what your ideal apartment looks like. I say this because so many people jump right into looking for an apartment, get all happy about all oh, this, that, and the other, and the stuff I'm about to tell you, you might not even qualify for that apartment. So let's be realistic. We have a goal to reach. You got to move out. Some things to consider when crafting your perfect idea of your first apartment are the location. I live downtown Detroit. Your lease arrangement. Some leases are a year lease. Some leases are six month leases. Some leases are month to month. What I will say about month to month leases, most of the time when you catch deals like that people don't want to stay at that apartment for a reason they want to get on after a month so make sure you do your research don't just let somebody tell you oh yeah it's a month to month and get all happy because you know you can move without having to you know pay the rest of the rent fees because if you move out which i'm gonna say if you move out before your lease is done they're gonna want the rest of their money because you signed an agreement so consider that how many rooms are you looking for do you want a one bedroom can you do a studio like i have do you want you know whatever the case may be as far as rooms what i will say about a studio is that most of the time studios are cheaper because you don't have a bedroom but if you are a single person and you can get a studio that is a fairly big studio like how mine's is i go for it are utilities included that is a really big thing. Finding places that have utilities included is very scarce. Luckily for me, the only thing I pay is electricity, so I don't have to worry about at the end of the month coming up with the water bill, the light bill, the whatever other bills I have as far as a utility that I have to pay. So that is something very big to consider. Are you willing to pay for utilities? Appliances. I remember my first apartment that I thought I was going to get and I have a stove or a refrigerator so I would have had to come with that that is extra money that you have to have when moving into your apartment to get those appliances if you're going to get them or not you probably want a place that comes with that so make sure that you put that on your list also a washer and dryer now some places you know have like laundry in the basement like how my place has but some places have in unit um you know laundry and dryer hookups whatever the case may be that's really cool but you have to consider that your rent probably will be a little bit higher if you get an apartment with that appliance do you want an apartment building do you want a tower do you want your own entrance you have to consider that that's something that i wish i would have considered before moving into where i live at now because i know when i move to Atlanta next year i'm either gonna have my own entrance or i'm gonna live in a luxury high rise where i don't see the ghetto amenities do you want a pool do you want to have a clubhouse a clubhouse for some places are where you can host events like so if you want to have a free venue or whatever the case may be business owners get that think about that <laughs> um and a gym you know if you have an on-site gym think again about the rent your rent might be a little bit more higher but you can go to the gym on site you don't have to go out and you don't have to pay another fee potentially i don't know pets everywhere does not allow pets i pay for my dog and he's not even here 
because he's a crybaby. So some places considering whether or not you have a cat, dog, whatever, they may or may not accept it. And if they do accept it, it's probably a fee associated with that. So are you okay with paying that fee every month or whatever the arrangement is? Parking. Now, like I said, I live in downtown Detroit. I got really lucky with my apartment building because a lot of places do not have on-site parking for free. You have to either find it on the street, which can be a hassle coming home from work every day. And if you don't have to find it on the street, you have to pay for a parking space. And that is gonna be a part of your utilities list. So consider that if you have to pay for a parking space or whatever the arrangement is. Carpet or hardwood floors. That is a really big one for me. Carpet smells, okay? It's 2021. A lot of these places have not been renovated renovated yet. So with that being said, I take hardwood over anything else, but that's a personal preference. Last but not least, windows. I have really big windows. My goal, well, what I'm gonna have, honey, when I move to Atlanta are floor to ceiling windows. I can't do those little tiny hut holes that be above people, bedrooms and I don't know what these apartments be doing, but I have to have light, okay? If you don't want light, then that's fine. But I have to have light, and windows are a big thing for me. So if they are a big thing for you, make sure that you consider that. After you do all that, you have now an idea of what you want. So you can go and search, but not yet. Because I need for you to look at your financial state before you go on red.com. I know you want to go on there, but not yet. One thing I want to say, it's kind of like what I said in the beginning, I just don't want you guys to rush. Like moving out, it takes money for real. And luckily for me, the cha-ching was in at the moment, but on a regular day or whatever the case may be, I kind of got lucky because it takes a lot, like I said. So moving into your financial state, I really want you to look at your income because what I'm about to tell you guys, a lot of people I don't think consider this stuff. Your gross income is what apartments look at to see whether or not you're going to be approved as far as income goes. Most of the time, people want to see 2 to 2.5 and sometimes 3 times the monthly income. So say for instance, your rent is $500 in the perfect world, right? <laughs> If it's two times the income, then you would need to have made a thousand dollars of your gross income to be able to be approved for the apartment income wise. You need to be able to prove you make when moving into this apartment because they're not gonna approve you. And I feel like a lot of people do not consider this part. That's the reason why I don't want you to go get your feelings hurt looking online before you realize, can I afford this or can I not afford this? Pay stubs. Ooh, child. A lot of people want to move into an apartment as soon as they get a job. Most places want to see three to maybe like five pay stubs. My place wanted to see six of my recent pay stubs. So I would have had to get paid six times with this job for me to be able to move into where I live at now. That's three months because I get paid every two weeks. So if you're thinking that, you know, I'm about to move because I just got this job they want to see pay stubs most of the time so with that being said you're gonna have to wait a little bit anyway before you move because you have to prove that you make this much money if working a nine to five is your only income for entrepreneurs this is a really big thing too huh, let me just break it down to you most of these places if you're trying to move to somewhere nice ain't gonna just be like because you got the money right here and there they gonna let you move in it's just not like that i feel like a lot of entrepreneurs do not Think about this, like you gotta have your proof of income together. It's not enough to be able to show your PayPal transactions, your cash app, they don't wanna see that. If you are a real business owner, you need to be filing your taxes because I got a root of awakening when I had to show my taxes here for Team XO LLC. I was not able to, so I have to prove my income with my YouTube earnings, which is a thing. And luckily they took my thing, but I also had my pay stubs from YouTube and I also had my W-2, well not W-2s, whatever form, tax form from YouTube to prove that I make money from YouTube actually. But that goes back to tax forms. If you are a business owner, they want to see your tax returns. You need to be filing your taxes to show that you are a legit business. Do you have the credit score? to move into an apartment. A lot of people credit is really bad. Mine's included. It's not the best, but it's not, it's not really bad y'all. It's not the best though. 
but I had to do some steps to my credit. I had to, you know, get myself together a little bit quickly so that I could have an increased credit score to be able to meet the qualifications for this apartment. A lot of places, you know, give or take, have different requirements, but make sure that you look at your credit, get an idea of what's going on. One last thing I will say about credit is that Credit Karma is not the go-to for checking your credit. This video right here will help you guys understand credit a little bit more. It helped me when I was getting my apartment. But people at the places, the management agencies or whatever these people are, whoever the folks are that approve you for an apartment or not, they're looking at your FICO score. It's not Vantage 3.0, which is what Credit Karma uses to you know, produce a score for you. So if you're solely going off of Credit Karma to get an apartment, you need to look at your FICO score. You can get that at Experian.com. Experian is a credit bureau. Go look at your FICO score. That is what they're going to look at when they're approving you or not if credit is a part of the approval process. Also, look at free resources in your community if you are struggling. Like I said, it takes a lot of money. And at this point in the video, you're probably like, oh, dang, it do take a lot of money. And if you really need to move out of your situation, if it's really that bad, and I would definitely recommend you go out into your community, go to the Salvation Army. In Michigan, we have Michigan Works, which is a great resource for people. They have jobs there, you're looking for a job. They have just resources there for people who need help. And it's no shame in your game. If you gotta get out of your situation, get out of it. Don't try to be all, you know, like, oh, I don't need help. I'm gonna do this, that, and the other. Go get help, it's help out here. Coronavirus, then, really allow for a lot of help to be out here as well so take advantage of the help if you qualify we have a made it baby to the best part of the video i know you ready i know you know what i'm talking about too it's time for you to now go look at apartment.com rent.com facebook marketplace or what is it called facebook rent i don't know but it's time for you to go browse because you have evaluated what you want you have evaluated your financial state and you have now made a conscious decision that you are able to afford an apartment and now you can go look at one physically because this pandemic is about to be over. I recommend you going on these websites first. I don't recommend you going to places first because even though we do want the pandemic to be over, other places still have appointments. I mean, go by only appointment and yada, yada, yada. So go do your research, get the numbers down, you know, call these places. But what I will say, I don't want you, honey, to go out and look at all these places. I need for you to get about two to three choices because going into my next point, these places are not free to apply to. Application fees are a real thing. And you, depending on where you go, could be paying a lot of money to apply to a lot of different places. Take your time see you know what apartments go with what your ideal apartment is call them set up an appointment or do whatever you need to do go view them don't instantly decide on one but then go back home after you have seen every apartment take a conscious time to think and then decide on where you want to apply to when you have decided where you want to apply to now it's time to play them application fees like i said two to three at most and two to three could range from like a hundred dollars to three to four to five hundred dollars like i said so two to three at most hun you did your work most of the time they're non-refundable one point i also want to bring up about when choosing an apartment from an experience that i have which i probably will make a story time about don't let these realtors try to pressure you to get an apartment on the first day that you see it this man told me that i needed to put down an 800 dollar deposit which would be the first month rent and all this other stuff and i'm like i'm um, sorry i don't even know if i'm gonna get approved or not they were trained to tell you this because they're looking to get commission from their work when they give an apartment away to somebody who has paid a deposit or whatever the case may be if the apartment was that hot it would already been gone if something is meant for you it is gonna happen don't let nobody tell you to do this that and the other you go home and you make that choice on your own don't give nobody no money that quick don't even let don't even apply there like i know it may seem like this is the place for you but go home and think see a few places don't make your first choice the last choice because you really don't know how it is to live there you are only seeing what you see from when you walk in after you listen to big sis 
you applied honey you got approved because you made sure that you could afford that apartment your credit was good you got that money coming in honey so now it's time for moving day please don't be like me and moving at the end of the month because guess what they're gonna give you a prorated rate which they're gonna love to say yeah prorated rate okay i paid three hundred dollars i paid the security deposit because three hundred dollars is like the prorated rate for whatever your rent is but i have to pay my full month rent on the first so i moved in what april the 16th i paid my security deposit which was my first month's rent i'm not gonna say that and then i paid a um pro rate so i spent about almost two thousand dollars i have to come up with my first month rent for the first in like 12 days a lot of money i would recommend moving in at the beginning of the month just go ahead and pay that first month rent and actual rent payment so that you can have another full you know calendar month to prepare for your next month rent before you move in listen to this one if there's no fresh paint on the wall don't move in if the place just look like they didn't do anything to it don't move in if it's stinking if it's dirty don't move in tell them to fix it because guess what that security deposit that you're giving them they got from the other person who lived here too and that security deposit is in case the apartment is messed up they're supposed to come in and do their thing that's what they get that money paid for them for and the same thing for you if you mess up the apartment that you're in they're not going to give you that money back so they were supposed to do their part clean it up make the paint fresh make it smell fresh and all that and if they didn't don't move in there because they're trying to play around with you i mean of course go talk to them but if they acting like they dragging their feet and they don't want to do anything that place is not for you with other being said i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that this video allows for you to really consider what it takes to move into an apartment and just not jump into looking into an apartment and get your feelings hurt because i did that multiple times and then i realized dang it's probably about to be like another year or two that i would have to wait to move somewhere because i don't have money to move but i'm here now and you're gonna be here well you're gonna be wherever you at soon <laughs> as always peace love and exo